Welcome back friends to Build A Lot Acres. Today's video is gonna be all about boots. It's a case for a case. All right, so I moved down here so you guys can see a little better. Nice packaging, they got, they got a little cloth to clean up your boots it looks like, that's nice. And these are, Myron's. They look like pretty good quality boots. They got that composite in the front and rear. And then you can get a look at the soles. And obviously they got their name in quite a few different places in the boots. They got one, two, three, four, and then they're actually inside. So at least five different places. So obviously they're pretty proud of these boots. And we're going to see if it's for good reason. So Brunt Boots, which is an up and coming boot manufacturer, out of the Boston, Massachusetts area. So right in my home state, right nearby, they asked me if I would be interested in showcasing their boots on the channel and giving a review. And I said, yes, absolutely, with a couple of conditions. So the first condition was, I need to be able to give 100% honest review. I don't wanna to be told what to say, what I can or can't say. I don't wanna to have to have my video reviewed before releasing by the Brunt team. I want to be able to be transparent with you guys and give an honest review. If I think the boots stink, I'm going to tell you that I wouldn't recommend them. If I think they're good, I am going to recommend them. So just because I'm getting the boots doesn't mean I'm going to give a positive review. And I made that very clear to the Brunt team because I owe you guys an honest review. If you're thinking of buying these boots and spending your hard-earned money based on a recommendation from me, the least I can do is give you an open, honest review. And I have to say, Brunt was more than willing and more than happy to accommodate that request. Let's get into my second condition. So the other condition I told Brunt was I want to be able to have a real review with an extended period of time before releasing the video. I said 60 days of use, but really anything I think between 30 and 90 days would be sufficive. The point is, I want to be able to use these boots in different environments, different seasons, different soil conditions you know, different angles of my feet to give you guys a real, real world data on whether or not I would recommend them after using them myself. So one of the reasons I chose the Marins is because they had what they call the brunt toe, which is this composite toe, which is supposed to wear out really slowly and provide a lot more protection. One of the areas in boots that I find wears out the quickest. So what qualifies me to say whether or not a pair of boots are any good? Well, I'm not a paid actor. I'm a real person and I do a lot of things, a lot of variety of chores around my property, as you guys have seen in other videos. And I did construction for a long time in all seasons here in New England, whether it be negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit winter with snow and ice around your feet all day, or whether it be in the spring in a foot of mud in a trench, or whether it be in the summertime up on a roof, 110 degrees Fahrenheit, and the asphalt shingles are melting under your feet. I've worn out a lot of pairs of boots and I feel that I'm pretty qualified to say whether or not they're any good. So the rest of the video is gonna be a montage of me doing different jobs through the next 30 to 60 days using these boots. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you my final thoughts.
So what are my final thoughts? I think for the price you get for these, they're a really good boot. So I gave the Brent boots a thorough test in different things, different conditions, different chores, real world stuff that your average person is probably gonna end up doing. I didn't just wear these out and about, you know, walking around in stores or going to church. I actually used them in real working conditions. And there is something that surprised me about these boots that I'm gonna tell you in a minute. I think one point that you might see get brought up in the comments or that people might be thinking are, are these made in America? According to my research and talking to the Brunt team, that is not the case at this point, but they are hoping to in the future open up a factory here in the States and manufacture them in the States, but that's not the case currently. But I'm gonna say this, that's the case with almost every brand of boot and certainly every brand of boot in this price range of 170, you know, $200, somewhere in that range. If you're buying a boot in America and you're spending $200 or less, I can almost guarantee with 100% certainty it's not an American-made boot. Whether it be Chippewa, whether it be a Red Wing, whether it be Wolverine, any of these name brands. The name brand boots, a lot of them are made overseas now. They do have some certain boots that are made here, but they usually have a USA tag or sticker or something on the boot. Usually like a little metal tag saying made in the USA. And they're going to cost a lot more. They're going to be you know, four, five, six hundred dollars like the Knicks handmade boots. They're not going to be 170 or 200 dollars. So you're going to spend three times as much for an American made boot. If it's worth it to you to spend that kind of money for American made, so be it. But a lot of people don't have that kind of money to spend. And I think these really fit a niche. But going to the thing that I really was kind of surprised about, which I wasn't expecting was, and this isn't a lie, this is 100% fact. Every single time I wore these boots out, whether it be working, I wore them to work several days, I actually wore them to church, I wore them out to stores, family functions. And every single time, without exception, I wore these, someone said, wow, those are nice boots, meaning nice looking boots, which I don't usually get those kind of compliments with boots. Obviously you buy boots for work, but a lot of people are gonna wear these out and about. And you know, it's, it's nice to receive compliments, but I have to agree with, the brown composite toe, they almost remind me of like an L.L. Bean look and they really are a sharp looking boot. So if you wanted to buy these just to wear them out and not work on them and just buy them as more of like a dress boot, that's certainly an option. And I can tell you right now, you're gonna get a lot of compliments on them. I know I did. And as far as the wear, the toes really haven't worn out much. The heels haven't worn out much. I showed you the insides of the boots. They cleaned up really nice with just some vinegar and some water. And all in all, I would definitely recommend them. I do believe Brunt offers a 30 day money back kind of a guarantee or a test period for the boots, but you're gonna to have to contact them to find out more details. But so if you don't like the boots, I believe you can return them after within the 30 day, you know, first period, which is a long time to allow people to return an item like a boot. So they must believe in their product. And I think it's a good boot. I think you're gonna see Brunt really get popular in the next few years. I see them advertised a lot. I know a lot of people are trying them out. Some of the people that told me that they really like the boots, I said, yeah, these are Brunt Myron boots. And they said, yeah, I have a pair of Brunts. So they're definitely getting out there. And I think you're going to see them get much bigger in the next few years. And I want to say thank you to Brunt for sending me the boots. I really enjoyed testing them out and having a nice pair of boots now. And hope you guys got something out of this video. This wasn't a paid advertisement. I'm not paid by Brunt. I did get the boots for free in exchange for doing advertising for them in this video. So I want that to be clear, but it was crystal clear to them, like I said in the beginning of the video, that I would only give an honest review on the boots, which is what I gave you. I hope you guys appreciate that. I don't find anything of value in a paid actor or a model showing the boots on a one minute infomercial on Facebook or wherever. That really doesn't give me any confidence buying the item. Hopefully this video gave you some confidence that Brunt might be the right boot for you. And in my opinion, might be one of the best boots on the market today. See you next time.